Hi, Andrew Williams for Sheko, reporting from ARBS 2018 at Darling Harbour in Sydney. I'm here with Brett Hedge from Heatcraft Australia. Brett, um, what would be your impressions for natural refrigerants at the show so far? Yeah, impressions for natural refrigerants at the show so far. We've had quite a bit of interest uh, following on from Atmosphere earlier in the week with uh, attendees there coming to the show. We see people wanting to understand more about natural refrigerants, how they can use them. Um, you know, the, the general market trend has been subcritical and cascade CO2, but we're definitely seeing interest in small charge, um, essentially, uh, potentially hydrocarbon systems as well as CO2 systems. And obviously, the, off the back of what we've done with the transcritical systems, there is a growing, um, growing need and growing uh, interest in that type of product. And how would you assess the level of understanding of the potential and how some of the obstacles in terms of operating in the higher amb ambient temperatures can be overcome? Do you think there's a, a decent level of understanding in the strategy? Yeah, definitely there is. Um, and we have, we have solutions that will help you get around the higher ambient conditions. And as a result of that, people are, are keen to have a look at it, uh, particularly in areas such as New South Wales and Victoria, where it's a fairly easy decision to, uh, to try and work around the climate constraints. Sure. Thanks, Brett, and uh, good luck for the rest of the show. Right, thank you.